Hey everybody, this is Miss Susan. Thanks so much for joining me today. So in a moment, I'm gonna show you a little clip on how I use this adorable little scarecrow in my upcoming story time, which talks about pumpkins and scarecrows. Now, if you would like to make one of these scarecrows, just like what I have here, <laughs> you can go ahead and take a look at the description. All the information is gonna be there. Just go into my shop, pay a little fee, then download it, and you're gonna make something adorable, just like, <laughs> Yeah. So stay tuned. Take a look at my story time and more details will come later. Bye. So scarecrows, oh my gosh, they do a lot to protect the garden. And also I've noticed that some people use scarecrows to decorate their homes. Even kids dress up as scarecrows. Oh, wow, that's wild. Well, this is my friend, Sammy, the scarecrow. Wait, Sammy. <laughs> he doesn't move very much. As we said before, Sammy has a very important job. Exactly. Sammy's job is to guard the garden so that the animals and the birds don't eat the vegetables. So I thought I'd bring Sammy out, and I thought we'd sing a little song all about Sammy the Scarecrow. So it goes like this. I'm sorry, I might be reading my notes. If I'm looking down, don't worry about it. Ready, Sammy? All right. I'm a little scarecrow, raggedy and warm. I wear a hat and my shirt is torn. When the crows fly here, I wave and shout. <laughs> Away from my garden. Get out, out, out. Good job, Sammy. Thank you. Oh, he's amazing. <laughs> all right. Well, Sammy, let's read a story, a silly story, all about scarecrows. Hey, everybody. So just like you saw in the video, everything was just really short and sweet. One of the things that I love about these glove puppets is that you don't have to do a lot to be able to get the point across. Actually, you can find a poem or a song that describes the puppet that you're holding, which I used in the example in this story time video, so that he is kind of a prop, but he's a fun prop because he moves and he waves. Now, for my online story time, that's about the most that I can have him do. But you know what, if I was doing my story time in front of the kids, I would probably have him in his own bag or box. I would introduce him to the kids. I would have the kids to welcome him by saying good morning or good afternoon. I'd introduce him. I'd tell him that he is Sammy the Scarecrow. And then I might actually have him talk with an online story time. And I know a lot of my preschoolers are so tired of looking at me and their teachers and other people online. I like to try to keep my story times quick and simple, but I love having a puppet because it's just like introducing a new friend and preschoolers love new friends. So take a look at the video again. If you want to see one example of how I use this scarecrow during the story time, you can also look in the description if you want to get a copy of the pattern for your very own so you can make your very own uh, scarecrow. So my name is Miss Susan. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a great week. Bye.